I'm joined by Chris Sook, author of the recently published book, The Founder's Mentality on Harvard Business Review Press. Thank you for joining me, Chris. Thank you for having me, Klaus. Absolutely. So, Chris, in the research for your book, you interviewed hundreds of CEOs who experienced a growth strollout and asked them what was the cause of this strollout. And their answer, to me at least, was quite surprising. What, what did they answer? You know, stallout is becoming an epidemic in large companies. When you get to be a point of size of several billion euros or more, we found that over a 15-year period, uh, two-thirds of companies either would stall out, meaning the revenues and profits would essentially go to zero, mm -hmm. uh, or would be acquired, or they would go out of business, which is really quite remarkable. And uh, when we probed into the odds of being able to turn the company around, we found that it was about one out of five or one out of six that companies actually return to a strong momentum trajectory of the past. And uh, when we examined the possibility and what the elements of, uh, of that occurring were, how, why is it that some companies are able to renew themselves, we found that there were three key elements in the renewal. And it was those elements that we called bringing back the founder's mentality. So let's start with that. What is a founder's mentality? You know, the phrase the founder's mentality came about because we came across an amazing fact. The amazing fact is that if you take the Fortune 500 companies for the last uh, uh, 15 years mm. and you separate it into companies where the founder is there running the company, the chairman, deeply embedded, and those where it's, lo it's long gone, even the founder's shadow seems mm. gone, the ones where the founder's presence or the founder themselves are still there performed 3.1 times better in terms of shareholder returns over that time period than, when, and than all the others. And so we began to drill down, not so much in a study of the personalities of founders, who vary dramatically, and frankly, most founders don't make it to that size and fail. Mm. But what we felt was that, was there something that those founders kept alive and embedded into those companies that their presence uh, maintained against all forces? And we found three elements, which is what we referred to as the founder's mentality. One is what we call insurgency, special purpose of the company. Many companies lose it. They become just another insurance company, mm. just another bank. When you do, you lose the hearts and minds of your employees. In America, only 13% of people feel any emotional connection to the business. Second element of uh, renewal was what we called frontline obsession. Over time, power flows into the bureaucracy, mm. away from the people who are actually innovating, dealing with customers, dealing with services for customers or making products. And renewing energy and talent at the front line is critical. And the third element of the founder's mentality is what we call an owner's mindset, which relates to speed, intolerance of bureaucracy, a willingness like a founder to take quick responsibility for problems and attack them, and uh, waging constant war against complexity that gets in the way of the mission. Those three elements are in the center of the formula of those companies that have been successful in renewing themselves after stall out. Interesting research. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. To learn more, read uh, The Founder's Mentality, published on Harvard Business Review Press. Thank you.